Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Here's how I react if a boy says, Oh, is your lips real? Yeah. Is that bag real? Yeah. Obviously. And here's how I react if a girl says, Are your, are your lips real? Babe? Girl, no. Let me hook you up. Here's who did them. Blah, 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 blah. If they say, is, is your bag, is your bag, is it real? No. No, it's not. Thank you so much. DHG, I'll send you the link. Once you're in stuff, it's just how it is. No, it's not. That's how it is with you because you can't stop lying. Before I move on, help a guy out. Is it, is your lips real or are your lips real? Serious question. You see me in the street because that's where I belong. What do you think my job is? I studied a lot of things, so. And that makes it even worse. Studied a lot of things and you're an OF girl. But just to let you know if there's gonna be a next time. When you ask a question, don't give out the answer. I'm in the streets where I belong kind of gives it away. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm sitting sitting in my car comp complete complaining compl huh? Complating. Complete completing. Comp complaining. Complate <laughs> Complain What? Complating. Complating. Compulating. What? What? Compulating. Compulating. Completing! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, completing, comp, comp, compulating. Oh, please! Well, contemplating, maybe? I do not text anyone that ever says, text me when you get home and here's why. If a man tells me, text me when you get home, I don't text them because guess what? Everyone says that to me. That's what guys say. That's their go-to move. I want to know if they actually care if I get home safe. So what I do is I get home safe and I wait for them to say, did you get home? Now, let me tell you, when you come with, did you get home safe? Are you home? That's when I'm texting you. That's when I know you're the one. But if you tell me, text when you get home, and then there's no, did you get home safe? You didn't care. You're just saying that. Taboo, baby. You're just going through the motions, and I don't like it. I'm just like, I want to know if you really care. I want to know if you're in it. You know what I'm saying? I want to know if you care, bookers. So... If you want to know if he's the one, don't text him when you get home. Okay, let him text you and say, did you make it home safe? Period. He's not. I mean, for sure he's not. He is for someone else, but not for you. And he absolutely should not. Every single little book you read about manners, it will tell you who's gonna send that text. And no, it's not gonna be him. Chivalry is gone, all the go. But that's not even the problem here. The problem is you're turning your dates into a test or into a competition. And you can blame men all you want for why you can't find a good one, but the problem is in fact you. That's why you keep going on dates and that's why you can't pass that first date. You have ever considered making an OF? Don't do it. Getting content in front of this fireplace. Respect the side hustle, okay? I have the windows wide open because I'm an idiot and the maintenance men showed up and got a full show. I'm talking VIP access. I'm barricaded in these pillows and I'm booking a last minute hotel because there's no way in hell I'm sleeping here tonight. The stories that they're gonna tell about this day. That your reason for not having an OAF account? That he got the full show without paying the $4.99 a month? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good enough reason, but that should not be the main one. A few weeks ago, I said I don't do my husband's laundry, and a lot of people were saying, whoa, 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 those are small acts of kindness. Why wouldn't you want to do that for your partner? But here's the thing. Small acts of kindness that are mostly domestic labor just add up to work at the end of the day. So here's a list of things that I don't do for my husband. You all know I don't do his laundry. He can do that himself. I do my laundry and we do the kids laundry, but he does his own. I don't cook dinner. He cooks dinner every single night. I do breakfast and lunch for us and our kids. I don't pack him a lunch. If he's hungry, he'll figure out what he's gonna eat for lunch the same way that I do. I don't make his doctor's appointments because guess what? He's not making mine. Would it be kind of me to do that? For sure. Is it my job? 
Absolutely not. I have zero sympathy for her husband. I know it sounds bad, I just don't care. I don't have any sympathy for him. Even if by some weird turns of event he absolutely had to marry, he didn't have to marry this one. And I tend to stay away from someone else's relationships and I tend not to post relationships on my videos. But she decided to brag online about how she doesn't have any kindness for her husband, so there you go. The way I see it, the entire relationship is all about acts of kindness. Mutual acts of kindness, not about keeping score. And as soon as you separate his laundry from yours before you do yours, that is absolutely just that, keeping score. And I can promise you she keeps score in the bedroom too. You had it last night, next time you're gonna see it, it's gonna be on the 15th. I just hope he's gonna wake up sooner rather than later and he realizes he can do so much better. I need all my ladies to really listen carefully to what I'm about to say. As you know, the 4B movement and a woman taking a stand, a woman dismantling the patriarchy and just leaving it behind men altogether, woo 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 as you know, that does that mean that men are just going to follow suit and leave us alone and respect our space and respect our boundaries. That has never worked throughout history. Yeah, no, I know, whoop de whoop de whoop. but let's get back to the 4B. Me and my guy friend just had the craziest conversation. He told me a story of how one time he hooked up with a girl, and after they hooked up, I guess the girl was like, oh yeah, my boyfriend's about to pick me up soon, and he's like, huh? You have a boyfriend? He was mind blown. He was like, wow. She gets picked up, right? Fast forward, I guess eventually her boyfriend and her breakup don't know the reason, and she trickles back to my guy friend, you know, trying to get to know him again, trying to date him. And she already set the standard, right, on how she moves. So he was just like, no, I'm not going to take you serious. And it, and she was like, why aren't you taking me serious? And he's like, what makes you think if you cheated on your boyfriend with me that I'm going to want to date you and take you serious? Mind you, when he's telling me all of this, I'm completely shocked. And he's ready for love, you know? He doesn't, he knows that there are shysty women and he knows that there are good women and he knows that there are women who cheat and he also knows that there are women who don't cheat crazy because he tells me all the time you'd be surprised how many taken women i attract and i'm like huh huh as in you're surprised or you just act surprised you mean to tell me it wasn't just that one that cheated on her boyfriend it's more of them oh no but i thought you're all dismantling the whatever by for being something oh i guess i was wrong Okay, this is a quick and easy eye test. What colour is the watermelon? Now, if you said red, you're a normal person. If you said green, you're a little bit odd. And if you said blue, well, you have a crush on me. <laughs> no, I really don't, because now I wish I was colourblind. But then again, if you said white, you were looking at the right watermelon. This is a PSA to all the girls that are turning 30, that are single, that are scared that they're getting older and they're not going to be able to find anyone because they're in their 30s now. Who's going to want them? Let me tell you who's going to want you. Young men. Men between the ages of 18 and approximately 25. And on top of that, if you're a single mum and you tell them you're a single mum like I do, they're literally on their knee proposing. Marry me. Let me look after you and your child. They just... And you literally say no to all of them because, oh yeah, they don't exist. The 18 years old wants to take care of you. He wants to marry you. He wants to look after you. I don't know what you're smoking, but I want some. It sounds like some quality stuff. Did anybody else know this? The next time you go buy a TV, the inches on the box are just the inches of the box. Your TV is actually <laughs> 47. I'm, I'm just in place she can use a ruler. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be there when she asks for a refund. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.